Hi there! Chemotherapy remains a mainstay in cancer treatment today. Chemotherapy drugs are chemical substances that destroy rapidly reproducing cells. Since cancer cells are always reproducing, chemotherapy can be quite effective. However, there are normal cells in the human body that divide rapidly as well. Cells in your hair follicles, stomach, intestines, and blood-producing bone marrow cells also grow quickly. This is why chemotherapy often causes side effects. Cancer cells can quickly become resistant to chemotherapy too. Hmm, there must be a smarter way to target only the cancer cells and also deliver such a devastating blow so cancer cells would not be able to mount resistance at all. Eureka! Why not design drugs that only seek out certain targets such as proteins or genetic mutations that are present only in cancer cells? One such target is nucleolin, a protein that is found in abundance on the outside surface of many types of cancer cells. Nucleolin is also one bad dude. Patients with stomach or liver cancer with high nucleolin have worse survival than patients with less or no nucleolin at all. Nucgem cytobine, or Nucgem, targets cancer cells nucleolin like a guided missile to kill cancer. To construct Nucgem, we had to find the right missile that can home in and lock onto nucleolin with great precision. Ideally, we wanted to use a missile that has already been tested in cancer patients, so we know it can be given safely. We found one such missile, AS1-411, an aptamer drug. AS1-411 binds tightly to nucleolin and is actively taken up inside the cancer cells, where it triggers cell death. Next, we needed to hitch a cancer cell-killing warhead to AS1411 to make it even more powerful. We found gemcitabine to be ideal. Gemcitabine is a chemotherapy drug approved in the 90s and had been used to treat millions of cancer patients worldwide. We switched out one molecule in AS1411 with one molecule of gemcitabine. Like the mythical Trojan horse, Nucgem binds to nucleolin on the outside of the cancer cell is internalized and released inside the cancer cells. Nucgem then binds to nucleolin that is present in the nucleolus of the cancer cell, thereby triggering cell death. Meanwhile, gemcitabine causes additional damage to the cancer cells. Because of the dual mode of action, experiments have shown that Nucgem can be up to a thousand times more active than gemcitabine or AS1411 alone in killing cancer cells. Nucgem can be used to treat cancers where gemcitabine is already used as a standard treatment. However, we believe Nucgem will be a much more effective and better tolerated treatment option. Patients with liver and stomach cancers that have high nucleolin may also benefit from Nucgem therapy too. Screening for the presence of nucleolin in patients' cancer cells will also allow doctors to treat only those patients most likely to benefit from Nucgem. We need to produce enough clinical trial samples of Nucgem to be manufactured under GMP standard, an FDA requirement. We also need to perform additional toxicology and pharmacology studies in order to start clinical trials in man. With your support, we should be ready to start clinical trials in 12 to 18 months.